Hi my friends, good morning. Today is Thursday and it is May 7th, 2020. And um, today I want to talk to you um, about something. But first, is your mom in the room? If your mom is in the room, ask her to give you a couple minutes alone with me because we have something to talk about. Did you kick her out? Okay, good. So, who knows what is coming up on Sunday? Did you say Mother's Day? If you did, you're right. And maybe some of you have already been working on something for your mom, and that's fabulous. But if we were going to school, I would have helped you make a craft in the classroom. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some things that you could do for your mom. And you could do these by yourself because I have seen you all do amazing work in the classroom. And I know, no, no, that you can do amazing work at your house in secret. So if you don't have a piece of paper, you might want to get a piece of paper. Okay, so you could push pause and you could go get a piece of paper. And if you have anything that you can color with, then you could use that. And if you don't, that's okay. You can just use a pencil. Okay, so go get that and then come back. But don't let your mom back in. All right, are you ready? So the first thing is, if we were at school, we would talk about things that would make your mom's heart grow. Like, remember when Madeline didn't feel good and we made some cards for her or when Gabriel didn't feel good and we made some cards for him? We talked about some things that they might like and some things that might make their heart grow. And I bet if if we were at school, you would say a heart, right? And I think you guys can do it. If you watch me, I'll go slow, okay? You start. Pick a spot to start. You can even make a little dot with your pencil. You come up and around and down. And then go back to that same, same spot that you started and go up and around and down to the other one. Okay? And so there's a heart. I and Don't draw anything yet because you can always rewind and go back because then we're going to talk about how to fold the paper and everything to get it ready. I think besides a heart, you guys might say a flower. Are you thinking a flower? So we, could, we have a couple kinds of flowers. The first one we could do if we started with a circle, just like that, okay? And then we put on the petals all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Just like that. And if I see how I left a little space there, I can go like this and put a little petal in there if I want to. And same thing over there and same thing over there. And doesn't that look beautiful? And then we can draw the stem with a little leaf like that. And if we wanted to, we could put it into a pot. A line across and a line down. And a line down, just like that, just like that. And then come back up to the top and go a little bit behind like that. And then you could put your little dirt all around your pot. And you, if you wanted to, you could even do a tiny little heart on your pot, just like that. I bet if we were at school, you would also say a rainbow. Now, I don't have special dry erase markers like I do in all the different colors at school, but you might have some crayons or some pencils or some markers that have that too, that are in color. So just imagine that mine's in color and you would just take red and orange and green and blue and purple. Okay, and maybe you could do some clouds at the bottom. Okay, so those are some things I think you would say. You might also say a tulip because a lot of times you guys are saying a tulip when you're talking about flowers. So I think when we did a tulip, we did like that, kind of like a U. And then we did like that. 
and then a straight line down and then a little leaf maybe that one you don't want to put in a pot maybe you want to make a balloon for your mom so you could just do like this and like this okay and then put that bottom and have the string and you know what you could write on it this is a special symbol it looks like a tic-tac-toe board it means number so you could put number one because she's the number one and you could put N O N for her. What do you think? I know that all of you could draw any of these things. And don't forget, okay, take your time, use a pencil to start if you're worried, and just go slow. So now, okay, we got some ideas for the pictures. Let me. Hold that up for a second because you can push pause and leave the pictures on the screen for a minute. Okay, so now let's talk about the card. I know at school we practice this. Sorry, I'm just getting some stuff off my counter. Okay, I know at school we practice this. There's a couple different ways that you can fold the card, right? You can fold it in half this way and just go slow. Take the corner to the corner. Get them right next to each other, and then go slow, push down on this side, okay? So you want, you can hold it like this, so it opens up like a book. You can draw a lot of different pictures inside, or if you wanna to try to write some words, you can try to write some words, and we're gonna talk about words in a minute, okay? You can draw right here on the front. Make sure this is the side of it, right? Over there, and then it opens, opens up like that. Or if you want it to flip up like that you can do a card like that too so if we were in school we would talk about some things that you would say about your mom I'm gonna go ahead and think the first thing that you would say about your mom is I love you I think all of you can write to your mom I love you. And I don't think you would just put a period. I think you would put an exclamation point. Just like that. I think you would also tell me you are the best mom. So let's try it. You are the best mom. I might ask you guys, why do you love your mommy so much? And I bet a lot of you would say she gives really good hugs or she gives the best hugs. So let's try that one. You give the Best hugs. And when we're listening to the sounds that we hear, we don't always spell it 100% correct. Is that okay? Yes, it is. The most important thing to do is to leave those spaces so that your mom, when she goes to read the card, can see the word that you wanted to write. Because this isn't how you really spell give, and that's okay. Can we read it? G -iv. Yes, we can. And that's okay. So just make sure you leave your spaces and do your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handwriting. So beautiful. It will make your mom cry. Okay. Um, hmm. What else might you say? I love you. You are the best mom. You give the best hugs. Oh, I know. I know you have told me that your mommy makes yummy food. So what if you would maybe say to me, you make me yummy food. You make me yeah. um, me 
food. Who knows two letters together that say ooh. Oh, oh, you got it. You make me yummy food. I'll put that up there for you to see. Okay, I went slow. I went careful. I left spaces. So, do you think you can do it? I know you can do it. I know you can do it. And if you're getting frustrated, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and come back to it. Give yourself a break and come back to it. And if you're really having a hard time, don't go find your mom. See if you have another grown up or a big brother or a big sister that can help you so that you can surprise your mom. Because I bet if you do this in secret and show it to her, she is going to have the best Mother's Day ever. Okay. So I hope you all give it a try. I can't wait to hear if you did. And I hope that you have a wonderful Thursday. So good to see you. Bye, my friends.